Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will showcase you about Ha Long or Floating Village in Vietnam. H Long Bay in Northeast Vietnam is noted for its green waters and tens of thousands of limestone islands crowned by rainforests. Visitors can take junk boat trips and see kayak expeditions past islands named after their shapes such as Stone Dog and Teapot Islets. Scuba diving, rock climbing, and hiking are popular activities in the area, notably in the Healy Cat Bar National Park. Rainwater poured through fissures caused by tectonic activity in the limestone. This continual erosion expanded the fissures, eventually becoming the structures we see today. The sea's encroachment is notable throughout this time period. The sea's movement peaked, establishing what is now known as Ha Long Bay. The bay's distinctive beauty, along with its towering limestone casts, makes it a natural wonder deserving of UNESCO recognition. In the bay, there are almost 1,600 islets. Their limestone eroded by 500 million years of tropical rains and crowned by dense jungle growth. Halong Bay is a popular day trip from Hanoi and is known for its limestone casts and about 2,000 islands and islets dotting the turquoise green waters. While the sea around Halong Bay is not very deep, it is home to hundreds of diverse plant and marine life species. In the Halong Bay area, there are around 10 different types of ecosystems. Halong Bay has been inhabited by small local communities living on floating towns tucked away in between the caste, sunken mountains for thousands of years. The Halong Bay floating towns were originally established as a site for returning fishermen to market their fresh catch from the night before, but they quickly became residential. It didn't end there, though. On these tiny, self-sufficient floating villages, people lived, ate, slept, worked, partied, and even went to school. Each hamlet is a self-contained society that lives in perfect harmony with the land and sea, overcoming daily hardships and tribulations by cooperating. These are tough folks who haven't been hampered by modern difficulties and are living lives that haven't altered much over time. Houses, stores, schools, and even police stations can be found in the communities. When exposed to the elements, their boats and houseboats are linked together to offer safety and stability. A few years ago, the government imposed a decree requiring residents to relocate inland and abandon their floating homes. The villages were outraged at first, reluctant to leave behind their homes and the community that had taken generations to develop. The government, on the other hand, was adamant, moving inland would substantially improve people's quality of life, notably children's access to education. Pollution and environmental protection were also significant considerations. Even though no one lives here full-time anymore, the residents still engage in a variety of hobbies and jobs, such as fishing, net weaving, and pearl processing. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.